Hey, hello viewers. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install RHEL 9 in VMware Workstation. I'm using VMware Workstation 17 Pro and I'm going to install RHEL 9, which is Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9 in this VMware Workstation. Now, so let's get started with today's video. The first thing that we will do is, is we will click on this option, create a new virtual machine, or you can go to file and create a new virtual machine. Okay. Now, this dialog box is going to pop up in front of you. I want to select this typical recommended, which is already selected. Click on next and it is already selected. I will install the operating system later. You have to select this one. Click on next and from this option, select Linux, which is already selected. From the drop down list, you can select RDHL 8 if you want to install 8. If you have the operating system 8, then you can install it. You can have you can uh, install 7, 6, or 5, or whatever you want. But in this case, I'm gonna go for Red Hat Linux, Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9 64 bit. Okay, click on next, and from here, never ever select C drive, right? Select uh, another drive which is D drive over here in this case. Okay, now click on this option, make new folder, and I'm going to name it as R H E L nine. Sorry, nine. Okay. And click on okay. Now this path is set. Now, whatever I'm going to install, it's going to install in this particular uh, location, right? And I'm going to name, change the name uh, to R H E L nine. Change the name of the virtual machine to RHEL 9 and click on next. Now, here there is something to note. There are two options. One is to store virtual disk as a single file and another one is split virtual disk into multiple files. Now, if you select the first one, then you will be able to use your operating system only in your own PC. You won't be able to carry it in a pen drive and go in some other machine and use it in some other virtual machine, right? But if you select this option, split virtual disk into multiple files is going to be a bit heavy and uh, the size of the folder is going to be a bit heavy. But if you can, you can uh, basically carry this entire folder and you can use it in some other PC, right? But for in this case, I'm going to select this option, store virtual disk as a single file because I don't want to carry this to any other places. I'm just going to show you how to install it, right? But you can do this. You can, if you want, if you can do this, okay? But for now, I'm going to select this one and here in this uh, place, maximum disk size, I'm going to dial in 80. That is a preferred size. I am going to dial in 80 GB. Okay, now hit next and from here, click on this option, customize hardware. Okay, now from here, I'm going to select the memory and I'm going to dial in four GBs, four gigabytes. Okay, now one thing to note this blue color triangle you can see this is the maximum amount of memory which you can dial in but i'm going to dial in four because that's a preferred size for me and i'm going to go for processors and from here i'm going to select number of processors as two and number of cores per processor as two as well okay and click on close and click on finish okay now we have successfully created a virtual machine but we have to select the operating system which is the iso file and i have put a link in the description below you can go ahead and download that file if you want because the process of downloading it from the original website is a bit tricky it's a bit a bit complicated so i don't want to show you the entire step of that if you want to know how to download it from the original website of rhel uh, then you can put a comment in the description below i'm definitely going to show you how to download it and um, uh, you can do the do the steps you can follow the steps if you want then i can show you so do let me know in the comment section but for now go to the download go to the description below and just download the uh, rhel 9 uh, which is a google drive link you will get you can go and download that file okay now from here i'm gonna select this option cd dvd sata and from here 
I'm gonna select my ISO file now this was the previous step but I'm just showing you again uh, use ISO file image and I'm gonna browse for that in file I have it in the, in the desktop this one is the file I'm gonna click, click on this open and you can see I have selected that file the ISO file and hit OK okay now we are ready to turn on the power virtual machine so click on this power on this virtual machine and this will load a bit and it will show you some options install red hat linux 8 9.2 and test this media install red hat enterprise linux 9.2 i'm going to go the, go for the first option but here the mouse won't work so click the mouse once and you can uh, toggle the up and up arrow and the down arrow okay like this i'm going to go for the first option and hit enter okay now it will take a lot of time so i'm going to pause the video for a while or i'm just gonna uh, you know fast forward the video so it's gonna take some time i'm gonna fast forward the video okay all right now you will land into this page and this dialog box is going to show up in front of you or this window is going to show up in front of you from this wizard you're going to select this english and here i'm going to select english india and click on continue now there are certain options that you have to follow in this particular wizard okay now the first thing that we're going to do is set the time and date now from here it's already selected asia and kolkata and i'm going to select the time okay so it's i'm going to okay so you have to uh, turn off this network time from here and put in the time i'm going to select am pm and from here i'm going to dial in the time which is 646 it's now 647 so it's already there 647 pm and the date is 27th i think it's 27th yeah it's 27th 8 2023 and click on done so the time and date is set now here i'm gonna select this software selection and from here make sure this set server with gui is selected now click on done and click on this installation destination this one is a trickier part so i'm going to uh, explain you what it is uh, so from here select make sure you select the disk which is 80 gig gigabytes now you can note something over here it is written as gib gib stands for gibibytes so there is a there's a considerable difference between gigabytes and gibibytes okay so one gigabyte stands one gigabyte is equals to uh 1024 megabytes and one gigabytes is equal to one 1000 megabytes right so this is basically you have to note this it's you don't have to remember this but um just for the sake of saying this i'm just saying this okay and uh, from here i'm going to select custom and here click on this option refresh and click on this option rescan discs okay now click on okay and done now you will land up into this wizard here from this drop down list you're going to select this option standard partition okay now click on this plus sign and click on this drop down list from here you're going to go for from bottom to up okay so i'm going to select the swap first and dial in the number 8192 sorry uh, i'm gonna select the swap from here my num lock was off i'm gonna select 8192 from here which is uh, 8 gigabytes and click on this add mount point so we have successfully uh, set one swap over here now again i'm gonna click on this plus and from the drop down list i'm gonna select the slash boot and i'm gonna dial in 1024 which is uh, definitely one gigabytes click on this add mount point this one is also added and click on this plus sign from drop down list select this slash which is a root 
and uh, set it to 72704 72704 okay click on this and add mount point and we have successfully uh, set all the partitions properly now click on done and you will be shown this one this particular dialog box from here click on accept changes and we have done we are done with this step now the last step is click on this root password and dial in some password i'm gonna put the password one two three four five six confirm password one two three four five six and click on done we have set the root password as well now click on begin installation and we are done with it okay it will take some time to install so i'll just fast forward the video for that time all right guys so it's the uh, installation is completed and now click on this reboot system and it's going to reboot the system all right so you have to wait for some times guys because it's going to take some time okay so it's installed you can see i'm gonna uh, I'm, i can see this uh, red hat linux 9 click on the start setup and click on next skip this and write your full name i'm gonna write in my full name okay and in this user section username section i'm gonna put in official and click on next set a password okay click on next all done start using red hat linux 9 all right so to be very honest guys this is the first time i've installed it and and the, I'm, I'm just recording it for the first time so i haven't explored this windows uh, uh, sorry it's not, not windows i have not explored this operating system yet so i'm yet to um, explore this I have already installed uh, Red Hat Linux 8.8.1 uh, 8 or 8. Uh, sorry, 8. Uh, I've installed 8, so I have it already installed. But uh, this is 9, and this is probably the new one, and it looks awesome. That's it for this video, guys, because this was only for the installation part. Uh, maybe from the next video onwards, I'm going to show you how to uh, put in the commands and stuff like that. So till then that's it for for today's video guys hope you like this video if you hit the if you like this video then hit the like button share it with your friends and do consider subscribing this channel i'll meet you in the next video with till then goodbye